Yah Shalom family, we're giving all honor, we're giving all glory, we're giving all praises to the Most High, the Great I Am, loving kindness, the Holy Great One, the power of the Yah Dames. We give it all honor and praises to the all merciful Father, to the all merciful Mother, the ones who were the ones who are and the ones whom shall always be and we acknowledge the presence of the ministration of the spirit we acknowledge the presence of the office of the christ and we acknowledge the presence of all those who support us who watch over us who guide us who protect us who provide for us Yah Shalom family, Shabbat Shalom to you and yours. The Most I have an amazing message for you today. And if you open your hearts and open your minds, you shall receive the message and you shall apply the message and you shall become the message and you shall live it out and you shall share the message and others shall benefit from the message. About eight months ago, I recorded this video, the chamber of a sapphire stone, the seven chieftains at the seven gates. that the souls and the prayers passes through. And in this message, we found out that there are chieftains, angels, archangels that carry our prayers up to the Most High. And there are those who hold up our prayers until we make a suitable prayer, a better prayer We learn that the different gates that these prayers go through before they reach their destination. And a lot of times that we pray and we don't get results. And we wonder why that happens. Are these chieftains holding up our prayers? Are they not working on our side? Are they against us? These aren't the chieftains of the other side of defilement. These are the chieftains that were given charge over us to keep us in all our ways, to protect us, to guide us, to provide for us. Why does my prayer not being answered? Why do I keep praying? And it's still raining. Cause I was Cause I would have thought by now Mosai that you would have reached down wiped my tears away stepped in and saved the day But once again I say Amen and it's still raining. Why is it still raining? Am I not the chosen chosen? Am I not the sacred sacred? Am I not the few hidden among the many? Am I not your son? I'm the child of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Am I not your daughter? Why don't you hear me, Mosai? Why are my prayers being answered? I'm fasting 40 days, 21 days, seven days, Mosai. I'm on a vegan diet. I pray in the middle of the night. I read the scriptures, Mosai. 
I become esoteric. Why am I not being answered? What's going on? Don't you love me? What's going on, Mosai? How could you let me go through this situation? Mosai says, you have forgotten how you used to worship me. True prayers have left the earth. Teach my people how to pray. Today, we are going to continue this message from eight months ago. And we have been given greater revelations. And the most I have given us the key to pray. I know some of you may say to yourself, I already know how to pray. I don't want to know anymore. When I pray, my prayers get answered. I know some may shun this message as if it's too simple. But I love simplicity. And the most I love simplicity. And this message is coming from the holy throne of the supreme. For the ones among us who love to live in simplicity, the ones who love to travel light, the ones who have an open heart and an open mind. This message are for the ones who are at a crossroad. This message are for the ones who have been praying and there haven't been any answered prayers. This message are for the ones who feel as if they're not being heard. This message are for the ones who feel as if there is a delay in their prayers. Rejoice, family. Rejoice. The Supreme One above greatness who illuminates the heart of His people is giving you the key to have your prayers answered the key to rise your prayers above every other prayer immediately without delay let's get into it we go now to the Zohar book 19 and before we begin we read the prayer of the Ari a prayer that is to be recited before the study of the Zohar that we may receive light, overstanding, and guidance to where we are heading before we read the written Torah, the written law. So we begin. Ruler of the universe, You are the master of all masters. You are the father of mercy. You are the father of forgiveness. We thank you. Our power. We thank you power of our fathers. We bow down and we kneel before you that you may bring us closer to your law and to your holy work and that you enable us to take part in the secrets of your holy law. How worthy are we that you grant us with such big favor. That is the reason we plead before you. Please forgive us and 
to quit all our sins. That our sins should not bring separation between you and us. And may it be your will before you, Most High Power. May it be your will that you will awaken us and prepare our hearts to love you and to revere you. And may you listen to our utterances and open our closed hearts to the hidden studies of your law. And may our gathering and may our study be pleasant before your place of honor as the aroma of sweet incense. And may you emanate to us your light from the source of our soul to all of our being. And may the sparks of your holy servants through which you revealed your wisdom to the world shine. May their merit and the merit of their fathers and the merit of the law and the merit of your holiness support us so we shall not stumble through our study and by their merit enlighten our eyes enlighten our learning as stated by King David open our eyes so that we will see wonders from your law because from the mouth of the Messiah the supreme one above greatness comes wisdom and overstanding may the utterances of our mouth may the thoughts of our heart find favor before you our power our strength and our redeemer thank you holy great one We are in the Zohar, book 19, page 113. We have been given the key to answered prayers. We have been given the key to open the gates. We have been given the key to enter boldly. You cannot go into the presence of the Most High today and going forward as the chosen chosen no you can't go to the presence of the Mosai today as the sacred sacred when you pray you cannot go to the presence of the Mosai as a celestial 12 tribes when you pray you should not go to the presence of the Mosai as an evolutionary vehicle carrying divine knowledge when you pray you cannot go into the presence of the Messiah as the one chosen from above above all that he has seen when you pray please do not go into the presence of the Messiah as a selective spiritual breed when you pray, do not go into the presence of the Most High as the few hidden among the many. Your prayers will not be answered. Your prayers will not be heard. Your prayers will be delayed. When you pray, follow this precept. Rabbi. Abba 
talks about the prayer of Moses the prayer of David the prayer of the poor the prayer of the poor the most important prayer of the three the prayer of the poor is heard above all others because the supreme is always close to the broken hearted the supreme delays all other prayers until he has heard the supplications of the poor the supreme delays all other prayers until he has heard the supplications of the poor and because he knew this David referred to himself as poor when he was praying Rabbi Elazar says that all people should do this in order to be heard there are three that I consider the prayer the prayer of Moses the man of Elohim the prayer of Moses has no equal by any other person the prayer of David this prayer has no equal by any other king and then we have the prayer of the poor this one is the most important prayer this prayer of the poor takes priority over Moses prayer This prayer of the poor is before David's prayer. This prayer of the poor preempts all other prayers of the world. And what is the reason for that? He replies, because the poor men is broken hearted as it is written in telling him 34 verse 19 Hashem is near to them who are of a broken heart how many poor men listening today how many among you is poor in spirit this Shabbat day the destitute always quarrels with the Holy One pray ceaselessly to the Holy One having a constant reminder of the presence of the Holy One in your heart the broken in heart always quarreling with the Holy One the destitute always quarrels with the Holy One blessed be he and the Holy One blessed be he listens the Holy One pays attention to the words of the broken hearted as soon as the poor man says his prayer he opens Hallelujah. As soon as the poor man says his prayer, the Supreme opens all the windows of the firmament and all the rest of the prayers rising above are pushed away 
part of destitute men's prayer. Hallelujah. All the other prayers are pushed aside by the broken hearted prayer. As soon as the chosen chosen no. As soon as a few hidden among the many says a prayer, no. As soon as the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob utters their prayers, no. As soon as the Yahudims say their prayers, no. As soon as the poor man says his prayer, as soon as the broken hearted says his prayer, the supreme one above greatness opens all the windows of the firmament and all the rest of the prayers rising above are pushed away to give access to the poor man's prayer. The Supreme One causes delay to all other prayers because all other prayers do not enter In until the poor man prayers enters. The Holy One, blessed be He, says, Let all the prayers get delayed. Let this prayer rise to me let all the prayers get delayed and this prayer should rise to me I do not require a court session to intervene between us I don't require chieftains to carry this prayer require the ministration of the spirit to petition for this prayer this one humbled himself this one recognized that I am sovereign This one recognize that I'm supreme. This one recognize that I am the potter and he and she is the clay. This one recognizes that I created the eye and I see. The eye, the one who created the ear, I hear. This one recognizes that I am the architect. Huh? Let all the prayers get delayed because this one's prayer should come into me, should rise to me. Let all these complaints come directly to me. Let all my sons and my daughter's complaints, the poor men, the poor in spirit, the broken hearted, let all their complaints come directly to me. And I shall settle them. And I and he shall settle it on our own. And the Holy One, blessed be He, is left alone with these complaints in that prayer. As it is written, the poor man pours out his complaints before Hashem. 
Tehelin 102. Verse 1. All the hosts of heaven inquire one of the other. What is the Holy One? Blessed be he dealing with. What is he striving with? And they replied to them. He is concentrating on his vessels. The Holy One, blessed be he, is concentrating on the broken hearted. Desiring to be alone with them. Are you broken hearted? Do you desire to be alone with the Supreme One above greatness? Get wisdom, get understanding. Leave your title at the door. Leave your ideals at the door. We don't help break loose. Leave your accolades at the door. Walking naked as a child, as a poor, as the broken hearted. Let all their complaints come directly to me. The Holy One is striving with the broken hearted. Desiring to be alone with them. No one knows what is made of the destitute's prayer and all his complaints. Since the poor has no other desire except when he spills his tears in displeasure in front of the holy king of king of kings. And the holy one blessed be he has no other desire except when he accepts them. The prayers of the broken hearted as they are poured before him. That is a prayer that causes delay to all the prayers of the world. You ever wonder why your prayers are not being answered? There is a poor man there is a broken hearted praying as the broken hearted there's a child of Abraham Isaac and Jacob praying as the broken hearted not as the chosen chosen they're not praying as the few hidden among the many they are not praying as a celestial 12 tribes created to be different they are not praying as the ones created with a higher spiritual capacity. They are not praying as a selective spiritual breed. They are praying as the poor in spirit, as the broken hearted, as the destitute. They are praying to get answers. You see? When you pray like that, you go directly to the boss. Any other prayers, the chieftain's gonna handle it. I don't know about you, but I'd rather my prayer be heard by the Supreme directly. Moses put forth his prayer and was held up for several days due to the prayer of the broken hearted. Moses' prayer was held up for several days because of the beseeching of the poor man. 
David saw that. David saw that all the windows and all the gates of heaven were ready to open to the prayer of the poor. There exists no other prayer in the world to which the Holy One, blessed be He, will give His immediate attention to. There exists no other prayer in the world to which the Holy One, blessed be He, will give His immediate attention as to the poor man's prayer. The poor woman's prayer. As soon as David noticed that all the gates and all the windows were open to the prayer of the poor, he made himself poor. He made himself destitute. He removed his royal attire. He sat on the ground like the destitute and said the prayer as it is written, a prayer of David. Tehillim 86 verse 1. Psalm 86. Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah. You see? David immediately made himself poor. See? He couldn't come to the presence of the Supreme as King David. No. His prayer would be delayed. His prayer would be held back. Huh? Enoch says, observe everything. David observed. And he noticed the key to insert prayers is to have a broken heart, is to be poor in spirit, is to recognize who you are in the presence of the Most High. Hmm? Incline thy ear. Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah. Hear me, for I am poor. Hear me, for I am needy. Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah. Hear me, for I am poor. Hear me, for I am needy. Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah. Hear me, for I am poor. Hear me, for I am needy. I am poor. I am needy. Please, Holy Great One, bow down your ear. I am poor. I am needy. I am broken hearted. I have no one else. I have nowhere to turn to. I don't know what to do. Please, Holy Great One, Bow down your ear, hear me, for I am poor, I am needy, I am defenseless. You alone is my hope, you alone is my power, my faith, all my faith is in you. You are my only help, bow down your ear, almost I, for I am poor, for I am needy. Watch this. When David said this to the Supreme, the Supreme said this to David. The Holy One, blessed be He, replied to David, Hold up, David. Aren't you king and ruler over mighty kings? Yet you make yourself out to be poor and needy? Immediately, David prayed in another manner and left out the words poor and needy. And David says, Preserve my soul for I am pious. When the Mosai answered David 
and said, David, you made Joseph poor. I thought you were a king. David changed his prayer. Immediately, he left out the word poor. And he said this, Psalm 86 verse 2. God my soul, for I am pious. Over here, they put holy. But let's check out the meaning of pious. Pious means desperate, hopeless, lost, doomed, vain. You see, I am pious. And he says, Oh Adonai, to you I lift up my soul. You are good and ready to forgive. You are plenteous in mercy unto all of them that call upon you. How? How do you call upon the Supreme One? As the poor, as the brokenhearted. Give ear, O Yahuwah, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplication. See, the Supreme One, attend to the supplications of the poor and the brokenhearted directly. You see, the Supreme One, attend to the supplication of the poor and the brokenhearted directly. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Hmm? Number 192. Rabbi Elazar said to him, you spoke well. The person who puts forth his prayers must make himself poor so that his prayers will be worthy to enter among the prayers of all the poor. None of the guardians of the gates allow the other prayers in the world to just simply enter as they allow the poor man's prayer since the poor man's prayer enter without permission. If a person makes himself poor and desires constantly to be poor in spirit, his prayer ascends. Her prayer ascends and meets up with the poor's prayers. It joins up with them and rises together with them and enters combined with theirs and it is willingly received before the holy king you see now the prayer is held up until you make a better prayer so hard book 13 let's get that real quick that's from the video from eight months ago we read page 263 Taharael decides which prayers are worthy to be passed upward through his gate if a public prayer see comes along Taharael opens the gate and brings it in if it is a solitary prayer, Taharael opens the door and lets it in. If it is good enough for the Holy King. But if the prayer is unworthy, he pushes it out. And the prayer goes back down to the lowest of the firmaments below. Once he gets to the lowest of the feminines below, Sahadayel keeps all the rejected prayers until the person repents. 
when the person repents and prays a better prayer the prayer of the poor and the brokenhearted Sahadael then takes the unfit prayer and elevates it to meet the good one you see then both prayers rise to stand before the holy king you see we hear how sandophone takes the finished prayers of the yahudims and brings them up to their master the words of the rising prayers and the words of the law rise up to the place in the firmament where the stars and constellations and the sun and the moon where they are and this place is called the book of remembrance you see now to get more on this you have to check out this video where we already discussed that today you get the continuation deeper secrets of the law the key to answered prayers see i just read that to you he said if a person makes himself poor and desires constantly to be poor poor in spirit his prayer ascends and meets up with the paul's prayers he joins up with them and rises together with them and enters combined with the Paul's prayers and it is willingly received before the Holy King. You see? Make yourself poor like David. Let's check out the Third Testament. Page 164, number 14, prayer is a blessing which the Supreme has granted to men so that it will serve him as a ladder to elevate himself as a weapon to defend himself as a book to educate himself as a healing balsam with which to anoint himself and to heal all illnesses that's what prayer can do true prayer has disappeared from the earth the most I speaks True prayer has disappeared from the earth. Men no longer pray. And when they try to do it, instead of speaking to me with the spirit, they do it with their lips, employing useless words, rituals and material idols. It is necessary that true prayer return to men. And it is I who have come again to teach it to you. Teach your brothers how to pray. Make them comprehend that it is their spirits which must communicate with their creator. Leave the earth for a moment. Leave the earth for a few moments today and come to me in spirit.
For many centuries, humanity has been mistaken in its manner of praying. For they have prayed with the senses and not with the spirit. If the man of this time overstood the power of prayer, how many superhuman works they would perform. I bless those who pray, and the more spiritual the prayer, the greater the peace I make them feel. Blessed are they that have not seen yet believe. For he who closes his eyes to that which is of this world opens his eyes to the spiritual. And he who has faith in my spiritual presence shall feel and rejoice in it. Learn the truth and overstage your errors. This is the time for prayer. This is the time for meditation. But prayer, free of fanaticism, prayer and meditation free of idolatry, meditation that is serene, deeply immersed in my divine word. It is necessary that true prayer return to man. It is I, says the Supreme. The Supreme is the one who have come again to teach it to you. Come unto his presence as the poor in spirit, as the broken hearted, poor men, poor woman, and your prayers will be heard directly your supplications will be heard directly by the supreme we go now unto in the book of remembrance of our ancient grandmothers chapter 8 page 253 and we read number 33 as long as you have breath you have an opportunity to become acquainted with the man Anu said became. So he could live in the temple world with you and you must love him. And do whatsoever it takes in your repentance to find him. And if you just seek him, you will find him. Because his greatest desire, hmm? just as we read in the Zohar book 19 about the desire of the Supreme is to hear your supplications. The greatest desire of Anunka said is to be found by you. And it is a certainty. you can know him because he has no other purpose to be your redeemer than to be known by you so he can take you back to his father so he can take you back unto himself in Eden and the supreme will speak to you on his heart he only has a voice to speak to you the mother can speak to you too you see when you say the supreme do not envision a masculine that would be unbalanced the supreme is both masculine and divine feminine for lack of a better word, we say he, he will speak to you for in his heart, he 
only has a voice to speak with you. She will speak to you. For in her heart, she only has a voice to speak to you. And because she knows your mind and she knows your heart, she can know how to speak to you with her spirit. So you will understand. And her compassion is so great that she only requires of you that which is reasonable and just because she is merciful and she understands you so well. She knows how to become who you are and that which you are capable of. And she assists you back to Eden into her arms. You see that? You can easily say that. And he assists you back to Eden into the arms of his loving father, Anuka said, speaking of Matzah the Lamb. And his grace and mercy are infinite. Whose grace and mercy are infinite? Anuka said, Yahuwah, the supreme one above greatness, grace and mercy are infinite. Number 36. And lastly, when you know the Supreme and walk with the Supreme and know what he's feeling and know the truth of the Supreme, you will have compassion on the Supreme and come to the aid of the Supreme. Page 255, we read, Number 40, because Matzah is so gentle and unobtrusive and because his love is so tender, he will not assert himself to impose on others. So if you do not come before him feeling, if you, if you do not go before the Supreme, not before Yeshua, Yeshua no. The Supreme, if you do not come before the Supreme, feeling that which allows the Supreme to feel free, that you fully welcome the Supreme, the Supreme will withhold himself. The Supreme will feel inhibited in his relationship with you. And it is the same with the angels of heaven. And because of this, if you do not come before the Supreme in deep humility, as the broken in heart, as the poor man, the Supreme will feel your hesitancy to be vulnerable. You see, that's the key. Humility, deep humility and being vulnerable before your power. You see? Number 42. If you come to the Supreme full of self-consciousness, if you are aware of yourself concerning how you would appear to others while you're addressing the Supreme, and in your mind receiving honor and glory for doing so, the Supreme will not participate with you in your sin of seeking self-glory. You see, this is what David did. David, when he saw how the Supreme answered the prayers, David removed his royal attire sat on the ground like the destitute and said the prayer of the poor. Hear me, Hashem, for I am poor, I am needy.
Beatitudes, Matthew. Now when Yeshua saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and began to teach them. And he began to teach them. And he said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see the supreme. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of the supreme. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is a kingdom of heaven Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way that they persecuted the prophets, were before you, they shall persecute you. The first 2,000 years, Enoch, wherever he went, his message divided the people. He demanded that the people take inventory of themselves. From nation to nation, he carried his dynamic declaration. He says, choose you this day to serve the Supreme, the power who made you. The few who accepted the message responded to the spirit of gathering and collected in a central place. We're giving our honor and praises. We're giving our honor and praises to the Most High, our power, for this amazing and simple message that we can apply this simple instruction when we pray and watch and be ready to testify on how swift Prayer was answered and testify on the glory, the goodness, the mercy of the Supreme. You see, the Most High is long suffering. The Most I know you have been living in error, and because you have not known who you were. 
your actions have not shown the best of you. The most I knows. So he counts all your sins as errors. You see? The sins of the Yahudim. The most I treat them as though they were errors. You see? Not intentional actions. Now there are exceptions. That's going to be between you and the Supreme. But the most I know you have been misled. You have been misled by self-imposed prophets pastors and preachers and seers you have been misled by false teachers you have not been taught how to do things simple and properly let today be the day that when you pray you pray as a poor man you pray as a broken hearted man Pray as a little one who was at the gate of tears. All the gates were closed except the gate of tears. Pray. And the Most High will receive your prayer directly Himself. Yah Shalom, family. Enjoy your day. Until next time.